The jungle is very hot, but I've been out here far too long already, and I know what you're thinking. There's mud stuff in the game now. You can make things with mud, and then you can smelt metal. And yes, that is true. Green Hell did update recently, but that was recently, and I did not record this recently. I recorded this before I get busy with final work, uh, you know, college and stuff, school. Yes. So uh, I'm, I'm in. I'm in the jungle. Uh, it's scary here. It's really hot. I did. I did find. I did find. I did find all this gold. It's not useful unless I survive, though. So I better survive. I brought my torch. This will help me survive. Uh, and I, I brought this. Uh, there's, according to a Canadian, this is the best thing to have when you're surviving. You can go fishing with it. I have no idea how to play this. I probably won't learn. Anyways, enjoy watching me survive. Bye. Hello, this is this is Tim from Vibrant Story Studios, and uh, this this is Green Hell. This is the jungle. Uh, I've already kind of started a little bit here because uh, skip the tutorial and, and stuff like that, which you can do from the menu. I did not know the first time. Kind of already knew my way around the game. I just wanted to get a feel for it because I hadn't. I've seen people play it. I haven't played it myself, and that was a long time ago when it first came out in early access. So. There's a lot of stuff that I just don't know about too much. Uh, this is kind of the starting location. Uh, just go over what I've done so far. I built this little shelter so, shelter so I could save the game. I got a bed. Uh, I have an axe, and uh, I have a uh, I have a bone knife. That's about it. That's all I've done. So, with that in mind, I will still continue to blunder around the controls because. I am still new to actually playing the game, uh, and I have done some minor exploring in, in that direction, and uh, there's... Where did they go? I can still kind of see them, they're just small now, and there's no bees. There were three beehives when I started this world earlier today. I, I don't know where they went. But uh, I do know that I am fairly thirsty and the water down there is dirty, so. I do need to take this and, and I need to drink it. Beep. Uh, harvest. So that way I get to eat both of these, and I'll get two coconut shells. And for now, it's not raining right now, but it's the jungle, it will. It will definitely rain. So, uh, let's just press the wrong button there real fast. And I did notice something when I played earlier, that if I don't get out of the backpack and move, it like stacks them. And I've been playing a lot of Minecraft recently because I'm excited for the new update. So I'm going to hit E to open that menu all the time. Because that's just the inventory menu. Okay, so it is getting late. There's not a whole lot left I can do in the day because I do not want to go out at night. Because that is terrifying. But there is a little camp thing over there that I want to check out. I did notice that. So I think tomorrow I'll make my way over there. Boop. Okay. Bitch. Don't cuss. Yes. Oh, yes. Ah. <sighs> All right. So how I got there last time, I was just kind of exploring. I went down the stream a little bit, and there's this log that goes up to that. It's right here. And there 
is. So I have no idea what to expect from this place. I hope it's... Oh. I hope that was an animal. The jungle possesses some scary noises. Something that will probably kill me if I eat it. Okay. Realistically, like, almost anything here would help me survive. Uh, painkillers, yes. Very illegal operations, it looks like. Uh, I don't know what all I can grab, so I... a rock. We came all this way, and I found a rock. All this way. It's not exactly far. Rusty machete. I'll take that. Did a stick just fall? It, it did. A stick just fell from the sky. Okay. Empty cans. Oh, I have a leech. I hear somebody moving. I suddenly don't care about the leech. I am scared. I see ants over there. Ooh, a bone knife. I really need to get rid of that leech. Okay. <sighs> oh, God. <sighs> that would do it, yeah. That would drive me insane, too. Okay, yeah, that was a lot. Okay, back to worrying about those footsteps. I really hope it's just like an iguana or something. Or like echoes from my feet for some reason. Can. Can. It's like this way, I think. Uh, please don't let me get lost, like, really easily, like, soon. Oh, that was a Windows noise. Oh, hello. Ah. I'm turned around. Man, I didn't go very far and I'm kind of lost. I hope those aren't the kind of pigs that, like, run you through. There is some bamboo here. I'm 
Which means this is the wrong way. However, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna eat these. Oh, I forgot I, I forgot I went the rest of machete. bone is invisible but it was enough all right I got three bamboo logs I might as well like try and figure out which ways home oh there's bees there I think I might have left at the wrong end of that place. Possibly. Maybe I just went at the wrong angle. But I could swear that it was this way. Oh yeah, I went southwest west, so it has to be this way. This doesn't seem right because there's bamboo that way. Where did it go? <laughs> how did how did I do this so easily? Okay. I have, I have gotten myself lost. Oh, okay. So, oh, okay. Found it. Whew, okay. And I know there's bamboo not too far away now. So like, but I can use bamboo for something now. I can, I can add to my little ramshackle hut. So I would say that was a good outing. I do need to do something though. What's low? Basically everything. Uh, I really need protein. I might have to risk. Oh, there's a bird. There's a, just a dead bird. Good protein. Uh, but I might have to risk eating one of those cans first. It should be fine. It's canned. Uh, eat. That was very good. Cause that gets a weak spear and I have rope. So like, yep, bow. All right, I have a bow, that's good. Okay. Now arrows, is it just a stick and a feather? Because that's, I feel like it's just a stick and a feather. I can make a bow trap? Ooh. But let's uh, let's get to crafting. So it's it's two bird feathers and a stick. I know this now. Craft. And then I believe from this I can like craft another one. Oh, never mind. That's not how that works. But excuse me while I look at my watch and see that my carbs are low again. This is getting frustrating because I'm running out of carbs. 
Okay, uh, I have this blue mushroom. For all I know, this awful blue mushroom. <gasps> blue mushrooms get rid of parasites. Oh my god. Okay. Well, I still have the glaring issue of the fact that I really need carbohydrates. So there's that. Uh, okay. I just took a chance on those blue mushrooms and they, they paid off. But before I head out and go back to where I found those and get every bit of blue mushroom I can, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna not take all these cans with me. Because they're, they're slightly annoying. I know, buddy, but, like, I can't have you sleeping for a long period of time when you have, like, no carbs. I don't want that to happen to you. I think that's... That's tobacco. I think that's, like, a macaw that makes that noise. Why don't I have space in my backpack? Okay, just, it's, I've never had a game where you have to organize your inventory. <laughs> I believe those blue mushrooms were over this way. Maybe, I hope. Oh no, I didn't, I just happened to like eat it with me. I didn't, I don't remember where I got those. Oh. Oh, hi. No, thanks. Don't want any. Oh, I need to go home. Jeez, okay, I'm exhausted. Eee, that was a snake. Iguana. Killing you would involve burning way more energy than I have right now, so... I'm not gonna do it. I'll go up here and hope that that that, uh, that nice gentleman with the spear over there does not come this way and uh, lets me have a nice nap because uh, I need a nice nap so that I can go find. Come on. Ah. My health is going down though. That's not good. Uh, I probably can't hunt like a boar with this. I'd probably need like a s s way better. But if I can find one of those iguana. I got you! I don't have the energy to, <laughs> to hunt that guy right now. And it might take two arrows, I don't know. Uh, but I do have a leech, darn. These leeches are really annoying. Oh, that's going to be good. Oh, I'm finally going to eat. Ah, uh, I'm not dying. I, was, I repeat, I am not dying. I hope. <laughs> but uh, I can tell you what I'm going to do is after I finish up this episode here, here, here in just a sec, uh, I'm going to eat in real life because uh, survival games make me hungry and I, I haven't eaten dinner yet. So like, yeah.
cook rattlesnake meat so that I may fix myself something in reality. Also, this really just makes me want to watch Survivor Man because I love that show. But, uh... Ooh. Unfortunately, for some reason, that did nothing for carbs. So, while I am no longer starved of protein, although it is suspiciously low for just having gone through all of that business, uh, I suspect I'm going to have to go kill an iguana. Uh, it's rainy again. But I do believe... Oh, I am so stupid. I have a damn machete. I'm beginning to think that maybe you can't break down the bamboo logs. And I do believe that is a, that is a thing that is happening right now. Uh, uh, I wonder what I'm going to be able to do with that wooden spoon. Ah, uh, anyways, you know what? It's fine. Because we will find out in the next episode of Green Hell. Uh, this has been the first one. Uh, we're kind of breaking off and doing our own single player content. Uh, just, just to see how that works. Uh... So, I plan on doing, like, survival series and stuff like that. So this is the first one. I've been keeping my eye on this game for a while. And, uh, I think... I don't know when its full release is supposed to be. But, uh... It is an early access if you want to check it out on Steam. Uh, I guess I'll put the link in the description. Uh, it's super fun. Super in-depth. Uh, so if you really like a, a hardcore survival experience, this is it. Uh, <laughs> it has one harder difficulty. Uh, that I am not looking forward to playing, and I probably won't, because <laughs> I like my real-life sanity, and I already have to keep track of these guys. So, I'm going to save and get off and uh, eat myself some food, and then uh, I'll, be, I'll be back to, uh, to enjoy this game some more. Alright, this has been Vibrant Story Studios in Green Hill. I'm, uh, I'm still Tim, just in case... You thought that changed from the start of the video. I thought I'd say it. Uh, anyways, have a great day. Signing off. <sighs> the desert is very hot. This isn't a desert. <laughs>